Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Hello, Ben and Matilda. Thank you so much for both of your time today. Of course. It's what record is in the player behind you? I must know. I love the record oh, player. Thank you. Kendrick Lamar was in it, but my daughter took it back. Oh. And she has a record player too. Incredible. Well, she's a teen. She's a teen. So I love it. We have one here too. I love, I love it's listening to a whole record again is so exciting to me. I know just the little the little scratchy sound and mm -hmm. really makes me feel young and remember the whole box set and the whole thing on the floor of but of course you know, yeah Matilda is looking at us like I have no idea <laughs> what you are even talking about but that's okay because you know about Flora and Ulysses it was super cute I love a supernatural squirrel and how you guys all got together with it, it was super duper fun beginning with you Matilda Flora is so sweet and so kind, and she sees the beauty in, in everything, in people and in animals. What is the best part about playing a character like that? I see your animal creeping in the shot with you. Yeah, Billy over here. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. I love uh, Flora's character, and I love the journey she goes through. You know, she starts out kind of closed off and not wanting to see the good in the world. And then she starts to because of Ulysses. So that was just, it's really great to play around with that. And I love, I loved getting to play her. What I, what I really liked about your character is her fantastic vocabulary. I love when kids mm. know how to use big words properly in sentences. And I feel like you're kind of for the young people who are going to watch, you're going to teach them a bunch of new words. So, so can we add teacher to your resume now? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. <laughs> I thought that was, that was so cool. Super intelligent, super smart and creative people. Ben, I think you, your character uh, is going through, George is going through what a lot of us creative people go through when it doesn't quite take off and we have to do things to make ends meet before we can get those creative bursts out there. How do you deal, how did you deal with creativity downturns compared to what George was doing? Yeah, you know what, I, I, that's a great question. Uh, if I'm writing or something like that and I'm starting to have, have um, writer's block, there's a couple things I do. One is that I try to finish the piece and try to finish the things. I think a lot of times it's so easy to just give up and stop. And I force myself to finish it because then at least I have a finished product and I can work from there. And um, one of the other things I did was when I was starting to do comedy, I would be taking classes of comedy and then I would be um, teaching and I would be interning and everything would be comedy. And one of my teachers, uh, Christina Gauss at the time said, you're not going out and living life. You need stuff to make art from. So go mm. out, like go on dates or go to the zoo or go to, you know what I mean? So I find uh, it's important to remember that stuff as well. And remember that the inspiration is out there for you to grab. And then you can create off of that. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of the best comedy comes from tragedy. And if you never leave the house, you don't experience any of that either. That's true. That is true. Uh, you know, kind of a dark way to look at it, but you, you know, you get what I mean. I understand totally. <laughs> Matilda, it was, what was really cool about the squirrel is we know as viewers that the squirrel has to be added to the film to do all of the cool things that we enjoy as an audience. When you're filming your scenes and the scenes are with with Ulysses, what are you looking at? Do they give you a little play squirrel to look at? What are you, what are you seeing when you film these scenes with, uh, with him? Yeah, so um, uh, a lot of the time it's nothing <laughs> at all. A lot of the time it's just air that I have to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it was kind of hard and interesting too to kind of uh, like have to bond so much with something that's not even there uh but you know sometimes it was like this gray stuffed animal that was like creepy uh <laughs> so it was like really interesting and difficult but still good experience definitely for Ben, for for you i loved all of the kind of slap sticky things you got to do mm. in this film too that's really fun you know a lot of physical humor 
and sort of thing before you have to go out and do all that slapstick and herky jerky and all that kind of stuff you have to do. <laughs> do you have like a little mantra that you get in your head that your head like stay on the one and two or you know how do you get yourself ready to go out and do that slapstick stuff you stretch you first of all you gotta stretch <laughs> second of all um it's that's so funny there's a scene that matilda and i do where my 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 hand is like um uh uh gets tranquil uh, trank will tra do it for me someone do it for me tranquil trank tranquilize tranquilize thank you um, matilda. thank you very much matilda big words that's why she's here um and so um so that that was like so fun to me and matilda got to play a bunch together with like how are we gonna do this floppy hand thing and I love that opportunity. I do a lot of uh, animated shows as well, just as voices. And the idea to do that real life Disney stuff that I grew up loving, do you know what I mean? Like watching, you know, uh, the animated films, of course, but also like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and all these other Disney live action movies that I grew up on. Um, I just love that. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm doing like a Disney beat in a Disney movie. This is crazy. So um, the biggest thing I can say is stretch beforehand because you will pull a muscle trying to be funny. <laughs> With it also, you know, I think I'm funny and usually I'm not and I end up have, pulling a muscle anyway because I'm not funny, but I think I'm funny in my own brain. <laughs> I'm perfect. All you had to do is stretch. You're already funny. <laughs> Just stretch it out. I'm going to work it out. Matilda, for, for you, uh, you and your, your other young co-star have such a beautiful chemistry, he plays, um, a, who's a, a, a bit, what was it, hysterically, hysterically blind. Mm -hmm. And I, I liked every time you said it in a movie with your buddy there. I love to ask kid actors, what was your favorite thing in the craft services? Because I've gotten some funny answers <laughs> from kids and kid movies of what they like to eat. So what was your you guys go to in the craft? It is so weird that you ask that because me and little Ben, Ben Ainsworth, mm -hmm. we oddly we had this in common we both love to snack on lemons. Really? We would get, we would get lemons because they had like bowls of lemons and we would get a lemon and we would pull the skin off and just eat it. We'd oh. both eat the lemons. Oh. That's was, probably good for your like, digestive system though. Keep you, keep you lean and mean. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and lastly, before we wrap up, Big, big Ben, I know that you are a WWE guy. What did you think of the ending of the Royal Rumble? Oh, Bianca I missed it. What Belair happened? What happened, at, what happened at the end of Royal Rumble? For the women, Bianca Belair won on the women's side, and they brought Edge in, and Edge won on the men's side to face Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. Unbelievable. By the way, it's unbelievable to me that, like, Edge, like, people that I watched coming up as a kid are still, like, The Undertaker just retired. Isn't that unbelievable? That's crazy. It's That's cra crazy. When, when I was a kid and you had to get all your friends together so you could chip in to get like a pay-per-view special, it, he was like the main attraction. And I'm talking about when I was in my teens. So the fact that he's still doing it and just finished is blows, blows my mind. Um, but I, I miss it. Let me blow your mind even further. They brought back Christian too. What is going on? How are these people everlasting? I don't know, Fountain of Youth, Fountain of Youth. But thank you guys so much. You guys so were nice so cool. Chat. And this was such a fun movie. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Take care. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.